Hello guys, welcome to the train part. Everybody's telling you that we're going much lower, that the price is going to collapse, that GBTC is selling every day an enormous amount of Bitcoin. And in today's video, I'm going to show you evidence of what the wells are actually doing and the actual effect of the GBTC selling currently ongoing. For that, we are going to look into what the wells are doing, what on-chain data is currently showing us, including an update on the MVT that I showcase on Monday. We're going to look into what this candle on the Bitcoin dominance is telling us right now and specifically I'm going to focus on this chart on material indicators which is showing something that has happened very few times in Bitcoin history. Guys if this is the kind of content that you like to watch make sure that you're subscribed to the channel enable the notification bell so you get notified every time I put out one of these videos and there are two things that you can do for this channel if you want to help watch the video until the very end and do not go anywhere without leaving a comment down below. That's the best way that you can help the channel. What we're currently seeing here is the Big Well Explorer. This is an indicator that I featured a while ago in my channel. It shows the ratio between what the wells are currently doing, large holder wells, whether they are depositing or withdrawing from exchanges as a way to identify whether they are distributing or accumulating. The ratio one means that there is a perfect balance between withdrawals and depositing. And the only thing that you need to keep in mind is that this includes as well large exchanges. So it's not just retail large holder wells, but everything that is a large pocket. When you focus on this green area right here, it means that there's really massive accumulation. And currently we are dropping from the ratio one towards this moving average at 0.8. That is good, but it's not the largest accumulation that we ever had in the past years. In fact, all this green is way below located at around 0.5, which means that wells withdrawing are doubling down the wells depositing. But we are not there yet. This is just pointing towards the downside and it's a good sign that withdrawals are starting to outpace deposits. And if we look at this post from Thomas, you're going to see the effect of the distribution that GBTC is having on the other ETFs. More than a distribution, it's kind of a rebalancing. On the 10th of January, we have somewhere around 625k Bitcoin held by just GBTC. Just a few days later, you can see that the holdings are increasing on the ETFs up until the 17th of January. All of that while GBTC, the blue bar, starts shrinking day by day. Every day they hold less. On the 23rd of January, they were holding almost 100k Bitcoin less than the initial day. BlackRock, Fidelity are all buying and accumulating on a daily basis. And it seems that the buying is outpacing the selling from GBTC. At least until the 17th, currently is kind of slowing down and coming back down, but not below the level of the first day, 10th of January. So in theory, ETFs in total should be holding more than what they were holding on the 10th of January. And if we focus at material indicators, we can see that in the last six months, the largest block of liquidity orders that we can see in the full chart is located from 38.6 to 36.5. There's no larger block of orders in six months. I'm going to let that sink in because it's very important information. Of course, all orders can be pulled out at last minute. There's no order that is guaranteed to stay there holding the price. If you want to keep an eye on this data, almost on real time, you can get access to material indicators. There's a link in the description with a very juicy discount. If we go to the three years, we're going to find something even more impressive. Every time that we have formed a bottom, there's a pattern. And the pattern is there is big orders of bid holding the price at that last minute. We can see it here. We can see it at the bottom of FTX. Every time the price resumes to the upside and currently we see the largest block in the last three years. There's nothing comparable, not on the ask, not on the bid. If we zoom in into the week information, I see two things going on currently on material indicators that are worth mentioning today. Number one, the 44 and 45 orders were removed right when the price started coming back up. Usually when these two things happen at the same time, one, orders on the upside are taken out. Two, 
price goes up. It means that the most likely scenario is that those orders were taken out from there because there's an expectation that the price might go towards them and they just don't want to short anymore that level. When the price is coming down and those orders from above are taken out, it's because they just no longer think that the price is going to go there and they rather move in them down below. In this case, instead of removing them and putting them lower, they're just no longer there. There's a vacuum here of ask. And the opposite, we are starting to see more accumulation of orders in the bottom. So these ones shift from the top to the bottom. And that bind is not just from any band, it's from the largest holders. If you look at the CBD bands here, you have 1 million to 10 million, the largest is brown, followed by purple and red. Orange and green are the smaller pockets. And if you see here, the only ones selling are the smaller pockets, the retail, and actually the very small retail pocket. The green is actually starting to buy from today and that is really interesting to see. Looking at the real time we can see those orders, loads of orders located at 38k and I'm definitely not trying to convince you that this is the right time to go all in. I'm just saying that in crypto not everything can start playing out in the way it looks. In this case it's been looking very bearish. If we look at the big boss for example this high level chart that we've been looking for almost two years, being below this yellow line is not a good thing. But we have to admit that if by Sunday this retraces back above this yellow line, we're going to be in a very good place. That will prove that the range that is immediately below has been bought up and this was just a liquidity trap to the downside to trap some shorts to push it once more against the 50k level. What I'm saying is not guaranteed. We only know what we have here in the charts and we know that there is some accumulation and that there seems to be quite a large demand for entering the market at 35 and all the way to 38k. We also know that when the price came to those levels, these orders that we were cautiously thinking that might get pulled out last minute, you can see here that they got filled, they pushed the price higher, now there are new orders waiting to potentially do the same. So this demand here might be genuine. So be prepared to get disappointed that maybe the price won't be able to break below these levels and make all this demand happy. Guys, if you're interested in doing copy trading on bots, make sure that you check the link in the description. In the past months, I have been preparing quite a bunch of bots that are very easy to copy trade. All you have to do is deposit into the individual bot and decide which one is the one for you depending your risk aversion and the style of trading that you prefer to do. This is all automatic. The only fees that apply when trading with these bots is fees applied on success. And if you're part of the Trading Parrot community and you're a VIP member, you can talk to my team via Discord and claim to reduce the fees to the minimum. You can do that as soon as you become a VIP member. But if you don't want to be part of the community, these bots are free to copy for anyone that is watching this video. Just have a look at the link in the description. And if you want to trade the price action that I suspect is going to get pretty volatile very soon, I'm hosting this exclusive event on OKX to unlock up to 60,000 in rewards. All you have to do is find the OKX link in the description, use it to open a new account on OKX, and make sure that you click join now in the event. Deposit and trade as much as you can. The more you trade and deposit, the more rewards you can unlock. Thanks so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.